In an automatic transmission, torque converters allow an engine to spin somewhat independently from the transmission. Its basic components are a pump, a turbine, a stator, and transmission fluid. When you start a vehicle and the engine is idling, the pump instantly fills and pressurizes the converter. The fins of the pump begin to rotate at the same speed as the engine. At this point, since the vehicle is not moving in any direction, not much torque is applied to the turbine. However, the momentum of the fluid is enough to spin the turbine. This is true whether the vehicle is in neutral or park. When the vehicle is in drive, the turbine is locked to the transmission output shaft, which makes it come to a stop. Centrifugal force throws the fluid out from where it enters at the center, and a vacuum is created which then draws more fluid in. When the vehicle accelerates, the pump will continue to move the fluid at a higher rate of speed across and against the turbine blades. The turbine absorbs the energy in the fluid, turning it and transferring the drive to the transmission. At this point, the turbine blades are spinning in a direction that's opposite the pump. If this were left unchanged, the pump would be inefficient, as it would have difficulty turning. This is where the stator comes in. The stator redirects the fluid exiting from the turbine. It's attached to the transmission with a one-way clutch, so it can only spin in one direction, opposite that of the fluid. When the fluid hits the front of the stator blades, it's then forced to change direction and then re-enters the pump at a high velocity. Modern torque converters can multiply the torque of the engine by two to three times. This only happens when the engine is turning much faster than the transmission.